All right, I think we're live again. Let me check my channel. I hope the audio is okay. Yeah, uh, let me check batteries because yeah, it's okay. I'm just using uh, new batteries every stream, about every stream. Uh, when it gets below uh, two stripes, I will do that. Uh, batteries are not expensive, so why why bother uh, finding something else for that? Um, though I would prefer battery packs, but these uh, microphones don't work on uh, rechargeable batteries. This Fifine microphone. Uh, I tested it for, with several batteries and it really needs uh, a, about 1.4 uh, volts in each battery, otherwise it won't work. Anyway, uh, I was even thinking of uh, building in a uh, DC-DC converter to crick it up to 3 volt or something, but I won't do that. We'll just use batteries. All right, uh, let me share the stream again. Part three. Yep. All right. Hey, Peter. Pizza was great. I uh, love our pizzas. Uh, so, um, let's see. Yeah, okay. Uh, I found uh, the solution already for this board. Um, I just needed to keep digging. Uh, let me just uh, get some fresh air here. Uh, so, I just needed to keep digging, and uh, it was uh, still one of the parts in the power circuit, which, of course, I will share now. Just a second. All right. So, what I uh, what I thought is uh, continue on uh, finding the part that was causing the problem. Uh, let me grab the schematic for a second again. Uh, so, what could it what could have, could it be uh, else than the transistors here, TF4, TF5, the coil already replaced that. I checked some uh, resistors like the small 15 ohms one here. I disconnected uh, this resistor. It goes to the minus 12 volt uh, circuit here. Um, so I thought, well, uh, let's see if that could be a cause of the uh, missing 12 volt. But it wasn't. Um, I checked the diodes, I replaced them with working ones, and still didn't get um, proper 12 volt output. And at the end, I thought, well, let's check all the capacitors. Let's start with a 100 microfarads here. That was okay. That uh, came exactly to 100 microfarads. Uh, I checked the small, uh, this one here, the 560 picofarad one, uh, which is important for the uh, what do you call it? Um, um, oscillating for TO4, uh, but it's okay as well. And what I forget all the time. <laughs> was C80, the 22 microfarad, but I couldn't believe that could be a cause. And I will show you what happens. Uh, oh, let me uh, just switch, switch this place here. All right, so, so let's grab my multimeter and let's see what the actual value of this capacitor is. Hey, 8-bit Embo. Uh, so this value should be somewhere around, let me check. Somewhere around, whoops, um, 22 microfarads. So I would expect something like 21, 23 or something. No, not 23, 21. And let's see if we can get close to... Uh, damn lights. <laughs> so is this, yeah, this is okay. Let's see if we can get close to 22, okay? So, plus... Minus, let's see what we get. All right, it's getting up. It's getting up to 23 nanofarads. Nanofarads. Nanofarads, we needed microfarads. We don't need nanofarads. Really, it must be nano, uh, microfarads. So, this capacitor is just total garbage. This capacitor is total garbage. 
And it's a shame I didn't uh, detect it earlier on. And of course, replace the capacitors. Well, it helps uh, in many circumstances, uh, like this one. But I, uh, I just thought to first repair the power circuit and then replace the capacitors. But problem was actually one of the capacitors that should be replaced with refurbishments that was actually bad. So let me grab a working one here. Let's shorten the legs first because that's more easy at this moment. Power is off. It's always safer to put it out, of course. Uh, that's what she said. All right. Um, so a brand new Visa capacitor here. 22 microfarads. And I even dare to put back the uh, minus 12 volts uh, circuit here by putting the resistor back in. So my debugging was was okay. I was in the thinking in the right direction, but I just uh, didn't check that capacitor. I should have done it earlier on. You can see I uh, swapped the, dio the diodes here. They're not in the board quite nice. Not as nice as I want to, so let's see if we can do that a bit nicer. Yep, that's what I wanted. And I will do some cleaning later on because it's, uh, it's a lot of flux. I don't like that. I don't like that. I wish I had an ultrasonic cleaner, but I, I did some study. I, I thought, I think I uh, told you guys about it. Uh, it's not safe, people say, to use a, an ultrasonic cleaner with uh, IPA, so I won't. I probably won't do that. All right. Um, now I also want to check if I can put the toroid back because it's probably just okay, just fine. And let's also uh, put a die card on because I'm very uh, certain of my case here and see uh, if we can get to 12 volts. And of course, let's put a multimeter on as well. And then, then we will see, do we have 12 volts again? Oh man, the light. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's do it this way. Hey, Franco. Yeah, now we have a proper display. Okay. So this is a connection to the 12 volt line here. This is a minus. Let's see, 11.81, and we got a LED there, so it seems everyone, everything is working again. It does make an awful sound, uh, that could be uh, destroyed here, so I'm going to put the original one back. But we got 12 volts, which is great. And we're going to do the test on the other side with the composite video in a second, uh, which was a, uh, what we, uh, what we uh, were aimed, aiming for, for a good result. It could be that the original uh, Troid is the better one. This one just makes an odd sound, I don't like it. As far as I know, these are the same as the 48K Troid, so it shouldn't really matter, but... Since this is not a cause of any problem now, um, I will get the original back in. Yep, yep, yeah, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. <laughs> Where is it stuck? I don't know. I don't know. Where is it stuck? Oh, it's stuck on tier 4, really? Yep. Yeah. It's stuck on the... Uh, sticking out a bit, that's the problem here. Okay. Let us clean this one. Uh, because you know, uh, if you uh, power on the spectrum, it will create 12 volt by uh, switching at high frequency. And, uh, ouch, ouch, hi, who is it, okay, uh, now yeah, there's some of the camera's here, but 
You can you can uh, come in. Although you're wearing pajamas already, <laughs> I don't mind. Uh, she can. She still can, can she? She's she's ten, so I don't mind. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm live. People are watching. I just repaired this machine. So we're gonna test it. Sounds like Corona. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. All right, uh, so this is done. Uh, let's do a proper uh, tiny cleaning, not not too much, but just to get flux away, and we can see the burnt resistor wasn't uh, the problem, but it, it was burned, so I thought to re replace it. I did it already. It didn't have anything to do with uh, the other uh, problem. Are you from alcohol? Oh, she doesn't like alcohol yet. Ah, oh, she she likes alcohol with 0.0 percent alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> you never you never taste beer. You did taste beer. I I don't know about it. Oh, she said my I I, I allowed her to drink beer without alcohol. <laughs> I never drink beer without alcohol. That's no beer. Sometimes we get some free from the supermarket, from Yumbo. When I order your <laughs> real beer. <laughs> Alright, we do a blast. Not so hard. Check it. Alcohol vaporates. So uh, we can just do some testing. Let's get to the other side. Let's clean the bottle of alcohol, okay, close the bottle of alcohol here. Alright, let's see uh, what it does at uh, the test corner. Uh, we're going that that way now. Come here. Okay, I say we got a picture. Oh, I, uh, I need power, of course, because I'm using the um, nine volts power supply the other side. But let's take a new one here. Plenty of those. So these are the ones I'm currently uh, shipping on. Uh, Bite light. These are uh, the best quality 9 volt power supplies you can find. Um, I've have had plenty. Need to take an I've had plenty uh, that uh, were crap. I'm only using the good ones now. All right. Um, let's see. Will it work or will it not work? It will work. Thank you. Um, okay. Oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> Why not? Why not? What am I missing here? Okay, let's see. Here uh, we go. Why doesn't it work? Do we have proper 12 volts now? Yeah, we have 12 volts, but no picture yet. Ah, what the hell's wrong with the plug here? The plug sucks. Um, let's get another cable, but I don't have it here, so let's grab that one. Okay, still no picture. What am I doing wrong here? Um, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, I know. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> my bad. Uh, I did something else to make sure uh, it wasn't a 12 volt line, which I have to restore. Just a second, so I'm getting back to work desk here. Uh, what did I do? I did a, I did a cut. I cut pin 11 here. Sorry. Just a second. We have to restore pin 11. This pin needs to be restored with a bit of solder. All right. Everyone can see you dancing. <laughs> she has uh, some upgrades for a karaoke set in her uh, bedroom new mixer and some other stuff. A Bluetooth mixer. You can play music wirelessly. Yeah. Yeah. You said it's getting Alright. All right. Uh, let's see. It must work now. Let's switch to the other cam. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot. I 
I got that pin because I was uh, narrowing down the the cause. All right. Okay. We have one more problem, and that could be okay. That's easy. That's uh, that's here. Oh yeah, it's precious. It's uh, something with the. Uh, I've seen this before. It's something with the. This part here. Okay, it's alright. It's a it's a clock thing, thingy. Um, maybe the guy who this is from Angel, the uh, maybe he tried to turn it. I don't know. Okay, that's done. Uh, let's do some more testing. Let's put some. Uh, we can of course we can do the. Uh, new version of the RAM utility. I shouldn't show this because I don't think uh, Brandon li uh, wants me to show this new version, but uh, it works. Uh, so he didn't update for me for his RAM tester. Nope. Okay, bye-bye. Say bye to the people. Say bye to the people. Bye! <laughs> Alright, so this is working just fine. One board done. I just, uh, of course, need to do the capacitors. And I see some things going on in the picture that might indicate that the capacitors really need to, to be replaced. Uh, and I can't remember seeing it before. We can we can check on the other uh, toast track reference board. Let's check if the parts get hot. No. And that's good. No strange sounds. No, it doesn't get hot. I thought I could smell some heat, but I don't think so. All right. So everything is working. It does smell like something gets hot. Maybe it's a bit of the uh, IPA uh, still coming off the board. Don't know. But we will uh, replace the uh, capacitors, of course, later on. So the board is fixed. That's the most important. The board was wo uh, uh, working, but only on 5 volts. So that, that's uh, what Angel already discovered using the ZXHD. So that was, uh, of course, a great find of him. Uh, I think for people without much diagnostic skills, uh, that's. Uh, something uh, proper that he did. Recap first. Well, I, I never... Uh, I, I, I don't tend to replace the capacitors first. Uh, on some boards I do, like uh, 48k boards with very old capacitors. Um, but usually I, uh, I try to... I want to find the cause of a, uh, of a fault first. Uh, but on uh, some 48k boards, when I get the low memory uh, errors, uh, I think it's important to do the capacitors first because um, there's a big chance that uh, the capacitors are causing all kinds of voltage ripples causing the uh, low RAM chips not uh, not to work and I've, I've seen it a couple of times so replacing the capacitors sometimes solves those problems um, wouldn't be the first time where will I leave this now? I think I need a crate do we have a crate here? I thought I had a couple of crates left yeah I have one Okay, let's use some anti-static stuff because uh, I'm always careful with this, especially with toast racks, of course, because toast racks we love. Who doesn't love a toast rack? Who doesn't love a good rack? <coughs> toast rack. Right. Let's put it here. So I'm going to do the capacitors later. That's boring. Uh, let's get to the 40 k boards. I'm. Uh, I'm one. I'm wanting to get those and I'm thinking of where to find a DC power switch so I can continue on that here subtitles oh I didn't uh, enable subtitles um, I think I saw the option but uh, usually you don't see that when you uh, uh, start a live stream in the, in the easy way so um, I have to check if, there, if there's an option for that. Maybe I can... Oh, my, my head is red. My face is red. Let's, uh, let's first change some color settings here. That's uh, the Logitech camera, the cheap one. Uh, 
Yeah, that's better. <laughs> All right. So, uh, subtitles. Let me check if I can change it now. Uh, DVR. You know, we'll do a little bit later. Let me check now. The camera sets up. There's no option. Uh, sub oh, here subtitles. Ah, I cannot. I cannot change it at this moment. So next time I will, if, if I will think of, think of it, um, I will enable subtitles. I don't know uh, what it does, by the way. Uh, I think better you said something about that it automatically translates. Uh, translates the what I'm saying, I think. Great, Raymond. Thank you. All right, you're back. Yeah, yeah and our brother's here too. But he doesn't want to get on the on the camera. I think he's camera shy. Why? You want to stream yourself games? Why are you shy? You won a prize last week. You won a prize. You won a Air, Airbuds. Airbuds. And I don't like that. Air pets. Airbuds. I'm allergic to apples. <laughs> You won them for uh, some some schoolwork. Um, all right. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. We need to laugh. Oh, she. Uh, it, it's like ten o'clock, guys. School holidays. Tot half twelve. Yeah. Come and then and then at the bank and then above. Wat rusten. Bye bye. Alright. Let's get this one. Black screen, ram fill one. Okay. I like those. I think we uh, will do a quick first test. Eh. This, this one comes with model already. I guess not, because I think um, he's using antenna. Oh man, this one is stuck. This is the first. Never had that before. Oh wow! Yeah, it's uh, still on um, um, RF. So I want to change it. I hope he agrees. I, I didn't think he told me, but um, so I must be sure to make it possible to reverse the change here. So let's not cut it too short. This year is so odd, full of strange things. Except for Stranger Things season four. Still waiting for that. Um, but uh, so they just went back to school and then they get a summer holiday, you know? <laughs> the kids. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Maybe uh, maybe we should talk to the school uh, people and uh, tell them that uh, they, they cannot they, they should skip school holiday because of the weeks they missed. Would be perfect for parents. I'm not going anywhere, so uh, they're just at home. But but uh, they're not complaining because they have lots of things to do here. Not only gaming, uh, my daughter just got uh, bunnies, two bunnies, we got a couple of bunnies, very t uh, small ones, um, and uh, very young ones, so seven and a half and eight and a half weeks, so that's a lot of fun. Right, you already replaced the 7805, uh, so that's good, and it seems the rest of the board is completely original. Got to correct a ULA type, which need to, needs to be heat synced, we'll do it later on. Um, all right, so let's uh, see what this board does. Ah, sorry about that. Sorry about the cam. I'm going to to Discord anyway, but uh, but it come in finally got some sign of live and male spectrum, but it come in and out of channel. Is it a caps? Um, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, I think it's uh, the modulator then. <laughs> um, but I would. Um, advice to use composite video output which is a really simple uh, simple modification uh, just connecting one wire 
uh, and which uh, which will help uh, uh, with picture output quality and also um, solve the floating of the RF uh, channel. All right, let's see what does this board do. Nothing. Oh, it does work. Okay, we got a, a really clear low RAM fault, uh, but I was just talking about low RAM uh, faults and capacitors, so let's swap some capacitors first. And uh, these are the main, the main, the main ones are the two big ones, one hundred microfarads on the bottom here. Why am I zoomed in? Why is this? I didn't do that. Stupid software, don't you think? All right. Uh, so these two are uh, going to be replaced, and let's see if I need more to get lower RAM working as much as we can. This is a 6A, yes. All right, so um, let's check the schematic. Yeah, I think so. I think the uh, the one of the microfarad, one of the microfarad is the, the main one for the twelve volts. But we've got a couple more. We could also um, we could also do the one microfarad C forty six. So uh, let's do a couple. Not all because we just want to get the board work, board working. So for now. And I, I, I do think one of the lower RAM chips is, uh, is failing, so we need to replace one, but just to, want to make sure it's not the capacitors. All right. Oh. So we never have pets uh, in ho in home, at home, because uh, I'm allergic to uh, most of the pets. <laughs> um, so we decided to get some bunnies for, the, for my daughter mainly. But who, who doesn't like bunnies? <laughs> and uh, they're here for almost a week now. And uh, so it's, it's lovely to see how it all develops. Oh, let's do it this way, that's easier. Right, first. Another one. Then, uh, let's solder these in, why not? See the other parts that I think are important. So the C80, that's the same one that we also replaced on the uh, toast rack a moment ago. I don't like those flakes. I hate them. 
Okay, this is an issue 6a, so we need a 22 microfarad aimed to the right. I'm looking at, at my capacitor maps, which I printed on the, this box here with all the capacitors. Uh, they can be downloaded on uh, bytelight.com, so Google for byte light capacitor maps and you will find them. And of course we offer the uh, capacitor replacement kits with all the needed capacitors for uh, one board, which is quite useful if you uh, only want to do one board. But if you need more, then of course you can find the capacitors yourself. Uh, let's see, the next one is C46. Yeah, this one here. It's also power related, so it's important to swap those and get proper power. And some other ones are video related, so that's not the uh, problem at this moment. Right? Micro, one micro. I have one micro. This is an spectrum. Right? And seventy nine. This one here. Come on, let's do that one from the bottom. So, most probably it's on the ground plane. Yep, it is. So, it's this one here. Not the biggest ground plane. A bit odd why uh, the weather didn't get that done. Right. Um, okay, seventy nine is a one micro ferret for a six A aimed to the top. I think uh, I think we have the power capacitors done then. Let me check. Right. Oh. Okay. Double check. Yeah, I think we're done. So these are uh, the most important. This is a reset capacitor, the 4.7. Where is that one used? I think for minus 5 volt, wasn't it? 47. Let's see it here. I'm not sure. It's not. Oh no! It's no. It's not in the power circuit. So I wonder where it is used. Uh, let me check. I can find it. Why can I find it? Four point seven seventy four. Where is the four point seven used? 
I really can't find it. Uh, what is reset? Faster. Twenty two in the ULA power input. But where is that last four point seven used? Twenty two at the modulator. For five volts, it seems. Am I really uh, blind? I really can't find it. Strange. I have no idea. What is it connected to? Let me check. Connected to nothing. The chair five? Really? Yeah, it's connected to tier five. So it must be in. Uh, I'm just, I'm just overlooking it. Uh, let me check. Tier five. I really didn't see the four point seven microfarads here. I have no idea. Oh, eh? oh, it's, oh, they made a mistake in the on the on the circuit and the schematic. Um, yeah. So it's a C seventy four. Yeah, I will show you. It's not my fault, it's a fault in this uh, schematic here. Oh, wrong one. Uh, wrong one, this one here. So, and uh, you can see here the, ah, uh, sorry. The C74 is here, you see? But it says 4.7 nanofarads and even has the wrong symbol for the electrolytic capacitor. So it should be this symbol here, but it's uh, completely wrong in the schematic. And I don't think this is an official schematic. I think uh, someone else made it. It doesn't look uh, official, but I'm not sure. Anyway. Who cares? We found it. So it should be replaced. That's uh, what I want to say. <laughs> um, otherwise, the uh, power circuit is still uh, not completely stable. I thought so, but I just uh, needed to make sure. Otherwise, I'm just talking rubbish. All right. Now we're done. Now we can test it again and see if the error is still there, or maybe it has vanished. And if it has vanished, then we can uh, take a beer. And if it hasn't vanished, we can take a beer. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Is the problem still there? In case, in that case, we have to. Oh, sorry, sorry for the bumping. Ah, oh, that's bad. All the bumping. In that case, we uh, we have to replace a lower RAM chip, which is easy. What do you think? Tell me. Will it? Will it? Will it? Come on! Will it work? Or is it still faulty? What do you think? I think it's still faulty. Yeah, it's still faulty. All right. Uh, it's D1, so it's this chip here probably gets hot. No chips get hot. No. Chips n is not getting hot. Run pill one. Okay. Easy enough. One chip. Let's do it. And I hope I can find the same uh, type and date code. Because I have plenty of those chips, but uh, not plenty of the same date code. But we can uh, give it a try. Let's see if we can find almost the same one. Celebrate Ruby here. <laughs> <laughs> I always celebrate with a beer. Uh, I need beer. All right. Let's see. STC. Date code eight four four one. Or date code eight four three eight. Not sure if those are original. It seems someone has been soldering there, so I guess more has been defective in the, in the past. Um. So, I got some STCs here, 
I, this is an SDC. This is 8405. 8414. We need 8441. Um, nope. I'm afraid not. So it will be one of these here. You can see uh, I've got plenty of voltage. Oh, wow, oh, damn it. Sorry. Camera, 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 camera. I got plenty of these. Uh, uh, chips here, so both sides are filled with all, all different brands and models and from over the years um, collected from dead boards um, or boards where I just removed all the low RAM chips because I couldn't find the correct one and in the past it was a little harder because I didn't have all the tools that we have nowadays um, so some boards have died um, in, 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 in making the, in making the film <laughs> no just, just joking um, this chip needs to get out and I'm going to keep it uh, in one piece because I think this is the correct one. I haven't checked, but I checked so many of these. <laughs> because uh, you, you guys see the, the stream a little later than I do, uh, and I'm making uh, it's <laughs> sometimes it's it's uh, uh, let, let's call it funny. When I discover that uh, I've got the wrong camera, and someone says a minute later, "You got the wrong camera," because I, it, 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 I feel stupid once again. You know, <laughs> it's my fault. But it's it's just hard to keep an eye on all the all the stuff all the time. Uh, maybe I uh, maybe I should ju just do a picture in picture or so. You know, why not? One overview of all everything. I could do that. Not too difficult. But I like the full uh, full screen views. It's plugging up again. As always, because I should buy a new one. And I'm lazy. I'm not lazy. Just sometimes like to say I'm lazy. Just to have the feeling that I'm a bit lazy. Keep the stress levels down. I uh, I want to get a new one uh, for, with proper quality, um, proper suction uh, suction levels. How do you call that? And uh, with replace replaceable. Uh, um, suction suction uh, thingies. Uh, this one uh, has the adaption, but I have no idea where to buy them. Um, so I just need to buy something suitable in the future. And as you may know, I do like to use the soldering the solder pump sometimes more than using the uh, the solder station. Um, I'm almost out of a solder wick. I need, need to buy more. This was a 30 meters, uh, 50, 50 meters. So been using it a lot. 50 meters is a lot, believe me. In the past, it was quite expensive, but nowadays it is, it's not that bad. I think uh, 10 euro or something for such a roll. Right. Get out, you. Can do it. Yeah. Out the other side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gently. Gently. Yeah. Thank you. No tricks damaged. Not yet. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's revive the patient. Let's put in a new chip. Where did I leave the other one? Which one did I get out? <laughs> I know what. This one. All right.
Let's see if that solves the issue here. I thought he said he had a black and white picture or a black picture, I'm not sure. But I'll ask him if he wants a composite video. Who doesn't want composite video? Only collectors don't want composite video, but everyone who is using the Spectrum, I think, uh, like it. Alright. It's quite clean, but can use some IPA. Get the SSO2. What's in SSO2? Is it the solar pump, I guess? I'm not good at numbers, I will forget it. Use IR Retractor as a monitor, which bench you are uh, We could do that, but it's it's complex. <laughs> I think no one does that. And maybe, uh, I don't know, I'm thinking, maybe, maybe there is a. Um, Somewhat like a, a, a detection in the software when it sees movements or something. I think we can uh, OBS shoot up something like that. Oh, check it out. That would be cool, wouldn't it? It's easy for software to uh, see if there is any movement on the picture. Easy enough. All right. Okay. Uh, no, this is a D1, Dateline 1. It should be the, the good one, the correct one, I mean. We'll find out now. I might have done it uh, wrongly, but we'll see. That was uh, the good one. Another fixed spectrum. Uh, let's check the colors. Something second dream like uh, which uh, chip is which data line. That's easy. Oh, but butter eight, yeah, of course. Right, the colors are fine. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe he means black screen. The, the when when it couldn't put up. That that could be uh, what it was. Black screen, black screen. That that's what he uh, that's what he meant. I think. Right. So that's fixed as well. Okay, we'll finish it later. Nice! Engineer SSO2. I won't go to write it down. Just eBay. Really? Thank you guys. You're really helpful. I like that. And now I have to write it down. SSO2. Uh, let's get to my to do list. What am I hearing in the back? That was music. I didn't expect from music, but I heard something, someone singing. I hope I'm not getting demonetized for that. Anyway, um, SSO2 the solar pump. And let's uh, go to um, eBay for it right now. I want to see which one it is. Silicone tip solar sucker pump. Looks a bit odd, looks different. We've got more of those in China, uh, but I'm not sure if. Why can I? Hey. Let me check. Uh, what did you guys say I should look for? SSOT. Just SSOT, okay? Uh, sorry, O2. SSOT, okay? Japanese engineer. Uh, sort of price. First, I get lots of uh, play cards. I don't need play cards. I need the solar pump. Ah, um, Yugi Yugi. Go 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 go! Oh my God! Can we just? Rid of those. I hate it. But uh, okay, let's uh, remove the word card. Let's remove the word uh, Yu Gi Oh! Yu Gi Oh! What? Yu Gi Oh! Yu Gi Oh! 
Doesn't work. Ah, man. Um, come on, come on. I can remember some words, but still have so many <laughs> results with that word in it. <laughs> oh man, okay, okay, it should be somewhere around here because uh, the cards end here and some of the stuff starts there. I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. Let me check that. Bit. I've seen it already, but uh, just thought maybe uh, what the hell is this stuff? All right, 25 euro, it is not cheap. Oh, it's not cheap. Uh, Okay, but this is the best one. Okay, I will. Uh, I will probably get one. Nice. Okay, I didn't know, but now I do. So we'll check it out later. All right. I I need I need the best the best one there is. I need the best one there is. So I will buy one. We'll uh, do for the best price later on. Uh, but do they sell uh, sell them from China? Oh no, Japan. They they really come from Japan. Okay, that's interesting. I, I see it now. Uh, because uh, J Chinese people don't sell stuff from Japanese, I think. They're only uh, made in China. These are not from China. Interesting. Oh yeah, they use a better picture. Ah, anyway, I'm I'm, I'm doing something else already. Uh, but I will I will get this one for sure. Looks cool. Just need to get used to it. I think. I want one. Give me one. Yeah, it is indeed uh, about 18 pounds, but um, shipping is uh, about 10 pounds as well, so we'll check that out later. Uh, let's get back. Do you have a card? Just SSOG, yeah. Right. Okay, uh, next machine here from Angel is a issue. I want the other one. I want the issue 3B. Maybe I'll finish with that today. We'll see. Uh, issue freebie and what does the issue freebie have? Uh, don't know the problem. Okay, voltage problem. Yeah, we'll see. Another voltage problem. <sighs> There's no beer, but who is epping me? Family. Family. Family ask me, is asking if I want to have some Pokemon cards. No, thank you. Anyway. Let's get back to what we're reading here. So, um, we have a voltage problem uh, once again. So, let's get a schematic of a uh, issue 3. Uh, why doesn't it get to issue 3 here? Oh, because I'm in a folder issue 6. Okay, issue 3B. Because we use schematics for repairing stuff stuff and most certainly this is a power problem once again okay, the issue freebie is not the clearest um, schematic here uh, but we uh, will manage so this is the whole power circuit uh, okay. this is good enough um, Let's see what we do have and what we do not have. Um, can I find it? Not a DC switch. I will just move this one for now. I thought I'm in some crate, but all right. Just a second, guys, because I cannot see any chat at the moment. Now I can. Let's get back to the power. Maybe I can. Uh, should I just should I just add the work desk as well here? It's easy. Let's uh, clone this uh, scene here. Duplicate. Let's go right with the work desk. Right, and add the work this camera, uh, video recording device, Rio. This is a bit big, I know. We're going to move it a bit. Let's move it here. Is that a good idea? We can always move it again. Maybe we just need to uh, rotate it a bit so you know what I'm doing. I can zoom in as well if I want to, but 
can do it this way, for example, why not? Is it, is it an idea or not? <laughs> Let's try. Let's see if this works. You can still see what I'm doing, so. So three cameras at once. Isn't that cool? All right. Why are all the screws loose? You put a... Oh my god, what the hell? Okay, I see some uh, strange things going on here. You put space in between here and uh, for uh, 7805. But that's of course not the way do of doing it because you need the heat transfer. You don't need to uh, remove the heat transfer. <laughs> anyway, uh, first let's uh, cut all the legs. Uh, extensive legs here. That's not useful. There's no reason for that. And the soldering isn't the best job, but okay, that's not a biggest problem here. The question is, what is wrong with this board? We do have a little resoldering here. Making a mess, by the way. And most probably this one also doesn't have a composite video yet. That's for later. Ah, what a mess. I need to uh, use my vacuum cleaner in a moment. This is a bit better. All right. Now we can check where we are. Uh, the soldering is okay. All right. Uh, I don't know what the wire is for. Okay, someone replaced. Capacitors and most probably something got damaged to sort of, and I mean, the, I'm trying that. I don't see why, but okay. I guess there's a track missing or something, I don't know. So, capacitors have been replaced. Um, I think that's uh, mostly okay. Don't see any problem there. Nope. So, I guess that's not a problem. Um, some parts have been replaced here. Warranty void from who? <laughs> Genuine. Who put it on it? Who's, whose label is that? It's a holographic label. I've never seen it. But I think I've seen it on photos, by the way. Alright. Um, tier 5 voltage mod. What voltage mod? There's no voltage mod. Seven fifty one, that's okay. Six fifty one, okay as well. Um, I, I can't see any problems yet, so I think we have to find out what the, the problem is. And we can just uh, try it here. Let's get my die card as well to see which voltages we actually have. Alright, so we got power without a cord. Now we got a cord. Switch, I mean, sorry. Switch cord. All right. Okay. No minus five volts. No plus twelve volts. So some parts are not working correctly. Let's do a quick measurement. If we got any shorts on the twelve volt line, for example. So twelve volts. It's coming from D fifteen as always. Uh, let's find uh, minus. Here is minus. Yep. 
then yeah now let's measure to the 15 oh there's a lot of floating ones aren't they yeah i think so um what's easier r62 if i can find it r62 is 15 ohms Which one is it? Hmm. Oh, it's underneath the capacitor. Yeah, I see it. Right. So, fifteen ohms. This is R sixty two indeed. I cannot see that. I think so. Um, let's see. We could check a C forty five. One of the one hundred micro micro uh, ferret cap um, capacitors, but where is my other? Yeah. Okay, now we can finally measure 45 plus, and that says 21 ohms. Whoa, that's no good. 21 ohms is way too low. So one of the or more of the lower end chips are probably failing, and this is on a 12 volt line only, so we haven't checked any other line. Um, so we have to find which chip it is. And the easiest way of doing it is just cutting the 12 volt lines from each chip until we find the correct one. Or uh, maybe correct ones. But uh, first let's pull this one here. Nothing yet. So this one is probably working. 21 ohms is low. I hope it's not something within the power circuit this time. Um, but I guess not. I'm checking if I'm not having any other issues here. 21, 21 ohms to ground from the 12 volt line, so that's no good at all. But this is probably higher. That's lower, 6 ohms. But why is it lower? I don't get it. Uh, this one is. Oh, the schematic is so bad. Let me check in on the schematic. Just a second. Um, for the camels. I can't see if which one is the finest and which one is plus 12 volts. Oh, and this grids are just garbage. Let me check. Um, so the DRAM, dynamic RAM supply, is the one connected to C44. Okay, okay, okay. So most probably the 
plus 12 volts without a VA is for the lower end, am I right? Let me check. I think so, yeah. I think so. Yeah, so the 12 volt line connected to C44 is actually the one that uh, we need to solve. Klaar? Ja, ze klaar met de bus. Nee, nee, niet de camera. All right. So this. Uh, let me show you the schematic here again. All right. Uh, yep. So this line here is the one that goes to the uh, lower RAM chips. <coughs> the other one is uh, going to the modulator circuit. Um, and this one is connected to C44. And if that is six ohms, then there are indeed some uh, um, shorts somewhere. So we're going to measure that again and going to cut to a volt lines here. Right. So let's see, six ohms. Uh, let's see which side we can reach. Uh, let's put pull this off. Yes. All right. Still six. Fourteen, but it's still. Uh, I don't think that's that's okay, so let's mark it. The other one didn't make a change, so I think the first one is okay, but the second one isn't. Let's put a small dot on it. 14. 23. Whoa, I think we uh, have a lot of dead ones here. 38. But maybe it's okay, I'm not, I'm not sure. So maybe those are just okay. Maybe the short is just is from the ones that do not make a difference. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, and now we get to 2.8, okay. So you, you could see, or we'll, uh, we'll test it later on, that this one is actually really dead uh, because that one uh, jumped, made a jump to 2.8K. Uh, if we short this one again, you will see we get to 38 ohms. Uh, so that one is, Definitely defective, but the other ones here, that one is just fine, I think. So we'll reconnect that one. Alright. Then let's just uh, check this one here. 59 ohms, so that one is dead as well, for sure. Then we will check this one. Pretty eight, yeah, dead. Oh. Yeah, another one, 10 ohms. So by way of finding the bad ones was the correct one. This one is okay. No short on 12 volts here. All right, and we have one more, but that one is probably okay. Okay, so we need to get four chips out, and I will uh, remove the socket of the, the fifth one there as well. So let me show you from nearby. All right. Okay, so four chips will be removed now and then we have to fix uh, the power circuit again most probably because uh, it, I think it uh, has two blown transistors or at least one okay
that's one. It's going to take some time, but it's not the worst. And I hope those other three chips uh, are still okay. Because uh, it's a bit odd that four chips are dead and one is still working, you know. Uh, sorry, three are still working. Let's see how quick we can get these out. I think uh, it will take a couple of minutes. I can do it quite fast, I think. And I'm in the mood for repairing this one. Uh, dark button show. Uh, maybe it did, but because we didn't have uh, 12 volts, I didn't uh, have let the die card do its run. Because uh, I want first want to fix the uh, the power issue. Uh, and if you do not have 12 volts, you will not. Oh, you you will get a picture output on the 48k. So it, it could work, yeah. But I don't like uh, smoking transistors when I'm doing a diac run, you know. Oh. So the die card shows defective chips, but assumes that you have a working power circuit. That's that's what I want to say. I would never uh, test a uh, diag diagnostic cartridge software run with a bad power circuit. I don't like that. You know, if you you got some bad low ram low ram chips, it's quite easy to blow up the other ones as well. So, if I see it's a problem like this, I will immediately power that off and solve it first. All right. Plugged up, doesn't show it. I hit it. I, I must need, have the SSO2. So the diagnostic software uh, probably was able to do a, do a run, uh, but again, um, I don't want to run uh, ZX Spectrum with a bad power circuit. I think my soldering iron needs more super glue in a moment. It's a weather. Weathers need super glue, as you know, because uh, these ones are made of I don't know shit. Terrible quality. Don't buy a weather. Don't buy this weather. Buy another one. Buy a Hecko. In the past, I would just cut all the legs from the from the chips. Nowadays, I uh, like to get them out this way. Just doesn't take much more time, and um, just solder in the working chips. That's what I like.
Alright. These are uh, all clear. Just uh, three more rows, I think, or four, what is it? This is a circuit, but no, it's not circuit. It's a bit harder to get out. I don't know, don't know why. Hmm. Ah, it's just plugged up again. Okay, uh, three more rows. Almost done. And let's hope we uh, won't damage any tricks. It still happens sometimes, but if you do this a lot, you get more careful. I'm using wick to remove all the, the edges from the pads so the pins come loose.
Right. How many minutes did it take? I haven't kept count. Still stuck. Yep, I can see it. That's one. <laughs> Lifting tricks, yeah. It's indeed a fear, but if you uh, do it uh, much, uh, enough. Then uh, uh, the risk is getting uh, a lot lower. Oh, <laughs> there's another thing you can do. Let's uh, break the chip in two. This is the first time for me. Look, the, the pin just got stuck there and uh, part of the chip broke. <laughs> I've never seen it on the lower range chip here. But so probably this one uh, has exploded inside or something. Maybe someone was uh, playing Samantha strip poker or so. Samantha Fox, I don't know. The chips uh, couldn't stand it. Too much uh, graphic. Get for the third, uh, maybe from that side. Uh, no movement. And this run is really stuck. Did I clean it? I don't think so. I think I didn't clean it. Technical stuff, you need to get some experience and feeling with it. I once had my wife uh, do some cutting in, the, in our uh, barn of edge connectors, and uh, I thought, well, she should be able to do that. But uh, a bandsaw machine is not a really uh, easy to get to know machine, you know, it has all kinds of uh, uh, calibration knobs and stuff. Um, and in the first attempt, she broke uh, she broke a bandsaw, so <laughs> not the machine, but the saw. Those are not that cheap, so um, we found some other stuff to do for her. <laughs> no, it's, it's 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 really you have you have you need to have some affinity with um, stuff like that, you know. Not it's not that easy. Um, that maybe I don't know why if, if, if I'm allowed to say this, but. That's why I think uh, many people in IT uh, shouldn't be in IT, but uh, that's just what I think. I hope uh, I'm not insulting anyone. There are, there are very cool uh, network administrators and uh, developers, but there are also a lot of people that just don't know what to do. I still get paid a lot. And the worst, my worst uh, moment, um, 20 years ago, no, 18 years ago, was uh, at a service desk, IT service desk. Some of my colleagues um, just made up stuff to customers. Uh, and I was hearing what they were, they were telling the customers and I, I really thought, what, what the hell are you doing? And uh, the problem was that they would they weren't get paid for helping someone to solve his problem or her problem 
they got paid to do as many items in, in an hour or something, you know? And they were the best in that. <laughs> oh man, 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 man. I'm so happy that I can do this now. There are many people un unemployed at the moment, as I'm really thinking I should hire someone, but this is not the easiest work to explain to someone, you know? And if you find someone who's capable of doing this, you probably will get a better uh, better uh, rate somewhere else, better income. So that's the problem. It's not the best, the best work to, uh, to make a business of. I like to work. But uh, I think I will keep it uh, for my family, me and my family. No, no please. And I have my hands full and my family uh, at this moment already, so it's not a big deal to keep it that way, if you know what I mean, because. Um, um, I understand them and I can help them with it. So I think it's good to keep it the way it is for now. So just one more chip and then the uh, the socket, come on, capacitor, get out, you. Yeah, I need your space to lift this one out, but it doesn't want to. Why is it so stuck? All right. What, did you, what have you never seen happening before, Franco? What have you not seen happening before, I wonder? Alright. Okay, let's check it out as well. Just some remaining pins here. No damaged tracks at all. Just a lot of patience, perseverance, and care. Good eyes. Alrighty. Okay, let's inspect. Yeah, I've never seen it before, uh, uh, ex except for uh, really damaged parts, but it's fun. It's fun what you encounter when you do this stuff for a living. Oh, I'm just joking. It's, an, it's, a, it's not the most complex job to do. It's a mo it, could, it can be frustrating. For example, uh, I should get my pick and place machine up and running. Maybe tomorrow, I hope. And that's uh, quite uh, intense work, to, if I can call it that. Because um, when, you, when the pick and place machine runs, you have to keep an eye on it. But I don't like to just keep an eye on the machine itself. I, I want to do more at once, you know. So when, I, when I'm alone here, um, and no one else can uh, take... I keep an eye on the machine. I tend to um, operate the machine at the same time as I'm uh, getting boards in, in the reflow oven and um, 
and it works but sometimes uh, I have to really real, uh, I have to be really quick to um, avoid problems with the machine for example when uh, when one of the tapes is uh, is not being pushed pushed down outside of the machine which can cause the uh, the head to crash and that's really awful when it happens and takes a lot of time when the head of the pick and place machine crashes uh, because you have to uh, recalibrate the nozzles and uh, the prick and other stuff that's really frustrating when that happens uh, all right so this is okay I'm uh, going to put in new chips not new chips but other chips and then I'm going to clean the bottom of the board but after that not first so let's get some more of these uh, chips here and this, uh, these are also STC chips um, so let's try to find suitable ones but these one as ones actually um, no I just have to find suitable ones but it's hard because I don't have that many anymore so that's one two three I'm looking for the same type oh uh, where did I leave the fifth one then was it this one I think so was it I think so yeah because this one hasn't been desolded so one more and we're there uh, but I'm, I'm looking for the same types you know um, yeah here we have one is that what we want maybe this one instead yeah I think it's a nice set yeah let's do that and as I uh, think I've said previously um, I only store parts that work so if they're not tested I won't store them in those uh, small um, organizers and the question of course is will this solve the problems of this board except we uh, still have to replace the transistors does look a lot better doesn't it not bad if you ask me so before doing anything else after the soldering and cleaning it up we'll check uh, the resistance on the 12 volt line it should be about 3k and if we've done that and we know there's no short anymore we can uh, replace tier 4 and 5 so always check the 12 volt line and uh, also the minus 5 volt line because these chips use the minus 5 volt as well and for shorts that, that's what I want to say and before replacing the transistors if you would replace the transistors and there's still a short then they blow up again and you have to buy new ones um, there is a chance that the short will only show itself when the machine is powered on uh, so it's a dynamic short if you can call it that I have seen it some, some couple of times but mostly you can detect shorts like this um, with a static resistance check and when uh, you use IPA it looks so much better it looks like it's a new board coming from factory I like that the only problem with IPA is the edges get sticky it's the edge of the board so you really have to clean it thoroughly to make sure the edges get not sticky and uh, always wipe it off like this oh. and then we do another check a 
looks quite nice. We have a couple of uh, solar blocks I want to get rid of. Awesome. Very clean. Very new. Lots of IPA here. <laughs> but my tissues are uh, out of stock. <laughs> not, not a big problem. And uh, we can uh, remove the socket with Jib later on as well, just uh, uh, how it looks like. Okay, let's uh, do the measurements and then we'll do, we'll do the. Uh, Power circuit again. So what do we have? We have 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, almost 3k. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Let's also check the minus 5 volts. Uh, let me check which pin it was. I do not remember everything. Minus 5 volt is on pin 1. Minus 5 volt on pin 1. And it's at 40, 45 kilo ohms, so perfect. We could also check the 5 volt if we want to, but uh, that's on pin 9. And it says 2 kilo ohms, but it's of course the power rail going through the whole system. Alright, so we now could check uh, if it works with these transistors, but it's a risk and I don't take that risk. I never do. I throw these away and I will put in new ones or tested ones or something else. Bye bye. Bye bye. Right. What do you think, guys? Will this baby work again? I think it will. These were quite obvious, these, these errors. Right. Let's get some more tier 4 and 5. And the uh, question for this evening after the stream is wine or beer? I'm not sure yet. I hope my kids uh, won't wake up early tomorrow morning. Uh, I, I hope I won't wake up early tomorrow morning, but my problem is that I, I always wake up early. I wake up in the middle of the night one or two times. I'm so awake, man. It's a problem. Maybe it's a coffee. I don't know. But I have that all my whole life. Right. Nice. Shall we check it here? Why not? Because we can. Alrighty, let's do a quick check and see if we got minus 5 and minus and plus 12. Yes, we do. Alright, let's get to the other side then. Beer. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, beer it is. No problem, guys. Oh, I should sw switch cameras and I should check if this one has composite video. Yes, it has composite video. Let me switch cameras. Once more. And no, not that one. This one. All right. Oh, I'm so curious. Would it work or not? Woohoo! It's not blowing up yet. And of course, we need to do more tests, like uh, checking if the M1 lens is working, which is working at this board. So, all right, great job, don't you think? Proper error checking. Original parts. Board looks as new. If you uh, want to do it perfectly, then uh, you could check for uh, exactly matching chips. You know. Because this one is shiny and the other ones are not, <laughs> for example. I will remove the socket later on. But this one, uh, I, I won't ask the complete refurbishment cost for this board because already it had uh, replaced capacitors. But I will ask if the, the owner would like to have the Recom uh, DC-DC co uh, converter in instead of the 7805, which is a lot cooler. And of course I will uh, replace the, uh, remove the ULA socket and add a heatsink because that's really necessary. Uh, if you don't do that, your ULA chip will die. Everyone knows that nowadays. So I'm happy. Thank you, Rogue. Thank you, Franco. You can do it too. You know that. Just to know what you're doing. Don't be afraid. Oh, wrong camera. All right. <laughs> You cannot have a beer? Have a day in a pub tomorrow. I never spend a day in a pub. I have to work. <laughs> no beer, I get it. If I would if I, I would live in the UK, I would do that there more often, I'm sure of that. But unfortunately, I don't. And uh, I mean, unfortunately, I, w I should have been born in the UK. I, uh, I think uh, people know that. Anyway, um, but I was born in Holland. Um, what can you do about it, you know? <laughs> I'm happy with uh, the facilities we have here, that's not a problem. Anyway, uh, I'm happy with the results, so Freeboard's fixed so far. It took a little more time than I want to, but that's because uh, uh, I'm doing a stream and I like to chat with you guys. And there are, at this moment, uh, how many? 18 people uh, live in the chat. Uh, so, um, I want to thank you for that. Maybe my wife is w uh, watching from those stairs, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to take a beer, uh, cold beer. Uh, if you know uh, the um, if you want to know the brand again, the brand is brand. I'm not joking. It's this, uh, I like this beer. This is the best beer. This beer. I like this beer. Oh man. Uh. Oh. <laughs> okay. One second. Ah, look, it's a nice picture. This is my beer. I like this beer. This is the only beer I drink. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Have a beer as well, and uh, I will see you in the next stream. Thank you. Bye-bye.